So now we're searching for the magic frequency. Do we start with 100 hertz? Do we look through the microscope? Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, let me hear you say that. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. If you are glad to be in the house of the Lord one more time, come on, let's stand to our feet and give God a praise with our voices in our hands, for he is worthy to be praised. Come on, I say, he is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, let's bless that wonderful the Lord, for he is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Oh, bless that wonderful name of Oh, bless that wonderful name of Oh, no other name I know. Oh, won't you bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Oh, bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Won't you bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Oh, no other name. Come on, put your hands together. Oh, bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Oh, bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Oh, 
Judas had a wonderful name. Um, oh, no other name. Come on, I need to hear you say, Oh, blessed had a wonderful name. Um, oh, blessed had a wonderful name. Um, won't you believe that a wonderful name? Um, oh, no other name. Come on, let me say, blessed a wonderful name. Um, oh, blessed a wonderful name. Um, won't you believe that a wonderful name? Um, There is power, power, wonderful work and power in the blood of the Lamb. Is power, power, wonderful work and power in the branch of blood. Come on, let me hear you say, there is wonderful work and power in the blood, in the blood of the Lamb. There is power. Wonderful work in power in the precious. Oh, won't you? There is power, power. Wonderful work in power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power. Wonderful work in power in the precious. Oh, bless that wonderful name. You bless that wonderful name. Um, oh, no other name. Come on, help me say, bless that wonderful name. Um, oh, won't you bless that wonderful name? Um, won't you bless that wonderful name? Um, oh, no other name. Come on, put your hands together and give God a praise on this morning. He's worthy. Oh, 
want you bless that wonderful name. Oh, no other name. Come on, let me hear you clap your hands. And... Come on, let's give God praise on this morning, for he's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, Lord, bless the wonderful name of Jesus. For well, this is a super Sunday. And we serve a super God, so he deserves a super praise. Amen? Amen. Our doxology. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise him, all creatures here below. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above the heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy. to worship in this Super Bowl Sunday. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Our feet shall stand within our gates, O Jerusalem. For the sake of the house of the Lord, our God, I will seek your good. O oh Lord, I love the habitation of your house and the place where your glory dwells. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O oh Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Our opening hymn this morning, an old familiar hymn, of the African Methodist Episcopal Church, number 364, my hope is built. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly lean on Jesus' name. On Christ, the solid rock I stand. All other ground is sinking sand. All other ground is sinking sand. After we join in singing with this choir, we'll be led in prayer by Brother Cardell Lincoln. Follow with the scripture by Brother Irvin Austin. Amen. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus and righteousness. I dare not trust. The sweetest frame, but holy thing. singing on Christ the Son. Every high and stormy 
morning church Lord as simple as it sounds I just want to say thank you thank you for another day thank you for life itself thank you for everything that you've done and everything you're going to do I just want to say to keep us covered under the blood Lord thank you for your grace and your mercy and I ask that you continue to bless and join bless the members bless all the members and bless all the new members that's going to kick down that door in the future, Lord. I ask that you continue to go through our community, Lord. Bless our community. Keep our community safe. Go into school, Lord. Keep our, keep our kids covered under the bus. Our little kids, our teenagers, and our young adults, Lord. And I ask that you continue to bless me and my family, Lord. Continue to keep us on our journey. In your name I pray, amen. Father, along we know all about us. Father, along we understand why. Cheer up, my brothers, live in I feel the spirit. 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 What is it doing? Spirit, I feel the spirit. 
Good morning, St. John. Oh, they done set the bar kind of high with that nice prayer. <laughs> so I'm going to try to do this right. So the scripture reading today will come from 1 Corinthians, the 2nd chapter, 6th through the 10th verse. I'm going to read. We do, however, speak a message of wisdom among the mature, but not the wisdom of this age or the rulers of this age. Who are coming to nothing. No, we declare God's wisdom, a mystery that has been hidden and that God destined for our glory before time began. None of the rulers of this age understood it, for if they had, they would have not crucified the Lord of glory. However, as it is written, what no eye has seen, what no ear has heard, what no human mind has conceived, the thing God has prepared for those who love him. These are the things that God has revealed to us by his spirit. Thank you. Oh, that's a blessing to the reading of his word. Good morning, Greater St. John, Amy Church. At this time in our service, uh, as we look at the 
program that says you're in the second quarter. And at this time, we would like to recognize any of our visitors that we may have in here this morning. At this time, would you please stand so that you can be recognized? Visitors. Amen. Would you kindly give us your name, where you're from, who's, who you're visiting with? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Thank you, God. Because you know I had to. You know, you know I had to get you to stand up a little bit. You know, it's all love. Now, yes, sir. Thank you, thank you for being here on this morning. You can burn all that out the church. <laughs> Amen. To God be the glory for the great things that he has done. There's a Super Bowl on this evening. And the message from the Lord is just to do. Doesn't matter who's playing today, what the final score may be. Let the devil know that you got the victory. Amen? Amen. Our Bible study will resume on this coming Wednesday at 7 p.m. And uh, this is February. It's Black History Month, Cancer Awareness Month, and Mental Health Awareness Month. On this third Sunday, they are asking us to wear green for mental health awareness. Also on next Sunday, um, the Mount Pleasant District will be celebrating its Founders Day. Today is Founders Day across the AME Connection, but we will be having a worship service at where's the other one? West, Wesley AME at 4 p.m. on next Sunday. Wesley AME. Um, also on, remember the Ash Wednesday service? That's on February the 22nd. We will be worshiping at Marianne Missionary Baptist Church at 7 p.m. Brother Reverend Daniel Hopkins is the pastor. On St. Paul, I'm sorry, the pastor of St. Paul Baptist will be bringing, bringing the word. All choir members are asked to attend. And Brother Henry Lincoln Sr. is asked to be the representative on the finance committee here at Greater St. John's. And they are asking everyone for a $25 offering. Our calendar rally for the month of February is class number two, Sister Juanita Kinlaw. If you belong to class number two, you know what your obligation is. <laughs> to Sister Kinlaw, please see her by the fourth Sunday in the month. Also, remember that the fourth Sunday, we will not be having worship service here at Greater St. John's, but we will be worshiping with our very own Reverend Austin at Howard AME as Bishop Green comes down to dedicate that church. So there will be no church here on the first, fourth Sunday. We will be going down to McCullenville and worshiping with Reverend Austin. And I have one more announcement. Brother Lincoln gave me from Sons of Allen. They will be having a, uh, an oyster roast on Saturday, March the 11th. From 1 to 4 p.m. All you can eat oysters for $20. Also selling fish and fries for 8 bucks, Chicken and fries for $6. Soda and water, a dollar. Enter drawing to win tickets for a 65-inch flat screen TV and a $100 gas fund. And this will be at the Four Mile Community Center, 1800 Labor Camp Road, Mount Pleasant, South Carolina. Amen. Now, as we proceed in this service, we will bring before you our pastor, Reverend Elizabeth Graham Swinton. Amen. Praise the Lord. Good morning. Good morning to each and every one of you. We thank and praise the Lord for blessing us and for allowing us to be back into the house of the Lord one more time. I'm so excited to see all of you, but 
extra, extra excited to see my young people, amen, in the house on this morning. I thank the Lord for all of you. To God be the glory for the great thing the Lord is doing. Praise the Lord. As I thought about getting worship service together on this morning, praise the Lord. I called upon all, almost all the football players here at Greater St. John. I want you all to know when I called on them, they all were ready to do what I asked them to do. And did not they do an awesome job, amen, on this morning. I give the Lord praise, honor, and glory for the great thing the Lord has done. Amen. Please let us remember again, as Brother Small said, the Ash Wednesday service at New Miriam Missionary Baptist Church. Please greet us, St. John. Let us please be in attendance. Again, like he said, we are asking every member for an offering of $25. If you know that you will be unable to be in attendance, at that service, if you would see Brother Henry Lincoln, who will be representing us on the finance committee, you may give your $25 to him if you know that you will not be in uh, attendance. Amen. The Lord be our help and strength, and the Lord say the same. The Ash Wednesday service will be held here next year at Greater St. John. So let us go out and worship along with Marianne and all of the other six churches that they will come back and worship along with us on next year. Also, let's remember again, we're going down to Howard on the fourth Sunday morning, but as I said before, you still will have the opportunity to pay your tithing and offering here for Greater St. John by way of give the five, or you may give it to the financial secretary on the grounds at Howard. Amen? If you want to go out there and show Reverend Austin and First Lady Austin, and the Howard family, how much we love them, amen, and be a part of that service. And again, I'm saying to you, if you know you're not going to be able to be in attendance, please see Brother Henry Lincoln with that offering as well for the fourth Sunday that we may get it all together, amen. Again, I solicit your prayer as I go for surgery on Tuesday morning. I have to be there at 645 going down into surgery shortly at 8 a.m. Please pray with me and pray along with me. I know that God has already done the work, and I am standing on God's word. Amen. And again, I'm telling you, thank you in advance for how you're going to continue the work of the Lord just for the few Sundays that I will be away. Amen. But you will be in good hands with, with the stewards and the officers and members along with the, associate, with the associate ministers here, Reverend Gaskew and Evangelist Myers, as we continue the work of the Lord, let us continue to go forth in the name of Jesus. I want to say thank you to all of my friends that I invited, cousins and friends that I invited this morning to come out with me, and you are here, and we give the Lord praise. So before we leave, I want to take a picture of all of the team together. If you were Dallas Cowboy, all y'all gonna get together. The Eagles and the all gonna get together. We're gonna get pictures that we may put on our Facebook page. Again, I say thank you, thank you, thank you. And while we continue to pray this week, let us remember Sister Leola Perino, who is in the hospital. Let us keep her in our prayer as we continue to pray. Let us not forget about a man, a soldier, a faithful soldier that gone on to be with the Lord by the name of Sister Geneva Pinkney. Amen. She was a faithful woman here at Greater St. John African Methodist Episcopal Church. Come on, St. John, and put your hand together for that awesome woman of God. I have to say that she fought a good fight. She kept that faith. Amen. And if all go well, her funeral services will be here today. Not sure of the time right now, but it's going to be on this coming Saturday. I'm asking all ushers that are available, please be here. All choir members that can come and serve on the choir, will you please be in place that we, amen, will celebrate the life of our awesome women 
that fought a good fight and kept the faith. Sister Geneva Pinky, amen. Gone but never will be forgotten. We give the Lord praise, honor, and glory. God bless you. At this time, we will now have a moment in black history by Sister Zahir. Beautiful people, good morning to you. So February is a lot of, a, a lot of, um, I was about to say a lot of months. We celebrate a lot of things in February. February is Cancer Prevention Awareness. It is, of course, Black History Month. It is also Heart Health Awareness. Um, and February is Self-Check Month for what mental health. Um, and, you know, we always tell you to tell somebody, tell somebody, but sometimes you feel like there is nobody and you need to check on yourself. So there are some things that you can do to check on yourself Check your own mental uh, awareness, your own mental health um, every day. Um, and it's said that it's best to do it at the same time every day if you want to do it in the morning as you're getting started. Some people do, you know, your morning devotion, get motivated for the day. Some people want to do it as they wind down at the end of the day. But ask yourself if you notice any feelings of stress, of anxiety, of worry, you can ask yourself if you've noticed that your mood has started to change. Do you feel upset or angry and don't really feel like you have a reason, per se? Do little things irritate you? And I know there are all of us that go through those times where the slightest thing, just you're done with everything because one little thing happened. On those moments, that's when you need to take a deep breath. You need to relax. Sometimes you need to detach from whatever you are in, no matter what it is. Sometimes you need to just detach and regroup for yourself. So ask yourself and take that time to invest in yourself because your own mental health is more important than anything because you can't be anything for anybody until you are everything for you. Now for our um, heart health. Uh, us as a people, us brown people, one thing we like to do more than anything else is we all know that. Somebody had fried chicken last night. Somebody had macaroni and cheese. Somebody's uh, collard greens is full of pork, and somebody like that pork chops and gravy. Uh, I married a, a man that needs pork chops and gravy, and he will put it on grits first thing in the morning. That's too heavy for me, but, I mean, that's how we like to eat. So things that we can I want you to look, uh, look it up for yourself. I don't want to tell you because we all eat things different. I'm a very picky eater. There are some things that y'all love that I will not eat. My cousins took my black card away years ago because I do not like collard greens. I don't. Never have. So I, invest, I, I suggest that you take, a time, take the time to look into what is best for you, what meets your needs, your personal health um, struggles, if you have any, and your tastes also. Um, and I'm going to close my little segment out with a poem. Some of you may know, we all should know, a poem by Langston Hughes titled, I Too. I too sing America. I am the darker brother. They send me to eat in the kitchen when company comes, but I laugh and eat well and grow strong. Tomorrow, I'll be at the table. When company comes, nobody will dare say to me, eat in the kitchen then. Besides, they'll see how beautiful I am and be ashamed. I, too, am America. Sister Hill for the observance of Mental Health Awareness Month and a little short black history by Langston Hughes. At this time, we will have um, the introduction of our and um, we're going to have the person that knows a thing or two about this young brother, his aunt, our pastor, the Reverend Rosetta Gant Swinton. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our speaker on this morning, he is the son of 
Sister Daisy Gant Gaffney and the late Reverend Chloe Gaffney Sr. He is the husband of Rochelle Gaffney. He is the father of five children. He's a graduate of Hanahan High School, bachelor degree from the University of Virginia, master degree from Sprayer University. He and his wife are proud owners of their own trucking company. And they love the Lord. They love serving the Lord. They love giving God all praise, honor, and glory. And I can say about this speaker, from a little boy coming up, he always loved to take part in something going on in the church. Was always bold about it. When he went to charity along with me, I held a black history program one night and he wanted to do the speech about Dr. Martin Luther King, but he did not want to read from the paper. Lord have mercy, Sister Gaffney and myself, we had a time because every five minutes he wanted to rehearse and we kept telling him, you got it, you got it, and he'd go over it again. Then he said, I got it. Next five minutes, mama, I better go study. Come on, let's do it one more time. These people are called to the rules. Come over here. It's your turn. Because you're the one who put them on the program. Didn't want to read from the paper. And he got up at charity that night. Amen. And he recited that poem about Dr. Martin Luther King without looking on the paper. And Reverend Stoke, who was the pastor at that time, could not, amen, keep his composure to see a child that young was able to remember all of that. Amen. So the Bible tells us that we are to bring up a child in the way they ought to go. Amen. That when they become an adult, praise the Lord, they won't go astray. And then if they do, how many of you know the word going to bring them back? The word is going to find them and draw them on back in. So without any further lining, praise the Lord. And I told him, we ought to be happy. That I utilize y'all. I, I, I incorporate, you know, the, the Carolina Panthers into the Super Bowl Sunday. You all ought to be grateful, praise the Lord. So after the singing off this choir, none other than a Carolina pastor, Panther will come and bring the word of God by the name of Brother Chloe Gaffney Jr. Come on, choir. Come by ya, my Lord, come by ya. Come by ya, my Lord, come by ya. Come by ya, my Lord, come by ya. Oh, Lord, come by ya. Oh, come by ya, my Lord. Oh, come by ya, my Lord. Oh, come by, ya, yeah, my Lord, come by. Oh, oh, Lord, come by. Hey, somebody waiting on you, Lord. Oh, somebody waiting on you, Lord. Oh, somebody's waiting on you, Lord. Oh, oh, Lord, come by, ya. Yeah. Oh, somebody is praying, Lord. Yes, somebody is praying, Lord. Oh, somebody is praying, Lord. Oh, oh, Lord, come by. Oh, come by, yeah, my Lord. Hey, come by, yeah, my Lord. Oh, come by, yeah, my Lord. Hey, oh Lord, come back. Hey, come back. Yeah, my Lord. Yeah, come back. Yeah, my Lord. Oh, come back. Yeah, my Lord. Hey, oh Lord, come back. Oh, somebody's praying, Lord. Hey, somebody's praying, Lord. Yes, somebody pray, Lord. Yes, oh, Lord. Oh, come by. Come by, ya. Yeah. Come by, ya. Yeah. Come by, ya. Yeah. Oh, my Lord. Hey, come by, yeah, my Lord. Hey, oh, 
Amen, amen. Good morning, St. John and visiting friends. How y'all doing this morning? I like that, I like that. Now, I told my, I told my auntie, you know, the Reverend Rosetta Gans Winton, I was like, I'm going to bring that energy in here this morning, St. John. I told her, I said, I'm going to try to find that, that college football energy. Cardell, you know, that Friday night gives uh, Hannah Hannah Timberland energy in here this morning. All righty, well, first, we'll go ahead and get started. First, I want to give thanks to God, who's head of my life. I want to give thanks to my family, who's here with me. See, I got my mom in here. Carolina Panther fan, she made me. <laughs> Got to give, have to give thanks to my other mom, my pastor, Reverend Rosetta Gantz Winton. Man, she she's always keeping me on my toes, man. And uh, some other high school buddies, they they beat me to the punch this year. They got the call first, and as you can see, they they left me with the toughest tackle to be made. Also want to give thanks to all the associate ministers here. Amen. Everything they do. And last and but not least, I want to give thanks to each and every one of you guys who are here on this Super Bowl Sunday. Everyone coming out and participating this morning. We really appreciate you guys. So when I was getting So when I was getting my my message ready this morning. I was thinking, I was like, how can I motivate the church but also incorporate, you know, Super Bowl Sunday and, you know, NFL player into, into my message on this morning. And um, I always followed uh, Jalen Hurts. He had a, I mean, a, I just feel awesome testimony I wanted to share with you guys. Then I looked to my left and I see Brother Lincoln, Kansas City fan over there. I said, oh, boy, I ain't no brother Lincoln been a Kansas City fan. So I said, no, nah, I got need, I might need all. I'm glad to see I got a lot of Panthers in here this morning, so I'm going to need y'all to keep an eye on, on brother Lincoln over there on my left side now. I might even need some Eagles to gang up with me this morning. So on this morning, I'm going to be coming from Ephesians chapter 40, verse 29 through 31. But before I get started, let's bow our head and go into a small prayer. Lord, I come to you as humbly as I know how this morning. Lord, I ask that you open each and every one's ears and hearts to this message I have, I have prepared for them. Lord, more importantly, I just want to say thank you for everything you have done for us throughout this week, Lord. And again, I just ask that you just be with me as I go through this message to motivate our people on this morning, Lord. Amen. 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 Ephesians chapter 40, verse 29 through 31 reads, He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even the youth grow tired and weary, and young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. Hold on, eagles. They will soar on the wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. Now, my topic on this morning is going to be hard work, adversity, and timing. God's timing. No matter what we are trying to accomplish in life, it's going to take hard work. From the youth and young adults, in school to get our A's, B's in school, it takes hard work on our jobs and our businesses to be successful. It takes hard work to get promotions, new contracts, to just maintain a job. It takes hard work. Now I'm starting with Jalen Hurts at the University of Alabama. Irvin and I always talk about the hard work those guys go through at that Division I level, especially our, our, our classmate, Brandon Ford, who played at Clemson. To start at that level, that national level of football, it takes hard work from media, media coaching, 
to film practices and performing at a high level every day, every single day. Once, when we all know this in life, when you're working hard to be successful at something, the devil always comes in and try to distract us or to discourage us. Always. One thing I try to motivate myself with when I come with some adversity is it, those adversity the devil has put in our way that only makes us stronger, wiser, and to help us get where God wants us to be. And like I said, that takes me into my second topic, adversity. We all know all, all, all good things come from hard work, and the devil wants to play some adversity. The youth and young adults in school might be studying, getting B's and C's, wanting door A's, your mom and dad watch you, working hard, sports, you're not getting the playing time, basketball court, football field that you wanted. You know, you just have to keep, just keep working hard and know that God will never leave you nor forsake you. In 2018, Jalen Hurts was playing University of Georgia. He was down 13 to zero going into the halftime. They took him out and he lost his position on national television, the biggest game, biggest college game televised. He lost his position to Tua Tungo Vilola, who is now in the starting quarterback for the Miami Dolphins. After that game, I could, I watched that game, and after that game, I saw Jalen, he was, he was happy for his team. He was happy for Tua, but I could see the hurt in that young man's eyes. And when I go back to verses 30 and 31, when it says, even the youth grow tired and weary, and young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. And when I, when I think back to that moment, I said, I can only imagine, like, his parents, his teammates just praying for him. Like, man, you lost your job. Everyone's, the media the next day is just discouraging him. Or what, what's next for Jalen? Like, man, this guy's like 17, 18 years old. I can only imagine the adversity that he's facing on, a, on, a, on national television. And... But in his eyes, I, I could see the hurt. But he still had his head up high. Yeah. And when I started really paying attention to Jalen, he's a, a Christian guy who's really into his faith. Yeah. And like I, I follow another, this great cowboy. I know y'all know Deion Sanders. Yeah. And what Deion Sanders always says is, keep working. Yeah. It's coming. Yeah. When I come to my youth, you're not getting those A's. Keep working. It's coming. That playing time you want on the basketball court, football field, keep working. Keep working. It's coming. coming. Those, those business promotions, the promotions you want on your jobs, keep working. It's coming. Them business contracts you want, keep working. It's coming. But guess what? But it's coming on God's time. It's coming on God's time. Very rarely, our timing and God's timing is the same timing. I'm going to say that one more time. Very rarely, our timing and God's timing is the same timing. And my mom's in here, they know when I, when I'm, when I have my mind set to do something, I want it to happen yesterday. You know, I say a prayer to God, I, God, I, I, God, I need you to make this happen yesterday. But that's not how it is. In school, our youth and young adults, when you're working hard and praying for A's, and I see this with my kids, they, they'll come home and, you know, I got to be on this, or I got I to gotta see. I keep telling them, keep working, keep praying, keep working. Then at the end of the semester, they'll come, I got all A's. I look at you, I say, man, I'm proud of you, man. You got all A's, but you just got to keep working. It's not going to come overnight. 
them promotions you want, business contracts, you pray to God and you might be praying for one position, one promotion, you get blessed with a, a better position. You get a better promotion probably with a better company. But it's on God's timing. Now when I look back at Jalen Hurts' story, to recap it, after Jalen lost his position that day in the national championship, he never was the full-time starter at the University of Alabama. He played one year behind Tua and later transferred to the University of Oklahoma and finished his college career. And I look at the adversity that young man had to go through, and then I thought about it. I was like, man, that was perfect timing for him. This allowed him to get drafted by the Philadelphia Eagles. If Jalen Hurts would have played what he thought two or three years at the University of Alabama, uh -huh. Come on. go on to the NFL, he wouldn't have got drafted by the Philadelphia Eagles. He would have got drafted by some other team. Yeah. So I look at that, and I say, wow, that young man had a good career, high school, beginning a college career, faced some adversity, but he didn't stumble. He didn't get weak. He didn't fall. And he stayed fast in his faith. And now, this young man, his second year in the NFL, is playing in the Super Bowl. That's God's timing. That's God's timing. And no matter what we are going through in our life, and even the youth in, even the youth in here, we all going to face adversity. These young men, they all going to face adversity. I face adversity. The, the grown adults, there's always going to be some adversity in our life. But I'm going to leave you all with, with one, last, one last scripture before I go. Because I was, I was looking through Jalen Hurts' Instagram, and I'm like, and he, he pretty much summarized this scripture on what kept him going. Mm -hmm. Psalms 37 and 4. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he should give thee the desires of thine heart. Young no man knew if he stayed fast on the Lord, he was going to get what he wanted. Yeah. And St. John and visiting friends, that's what we have to do day in and day out. When things get tough, we have to remember, go back to that word. Read your word. Stay in your word. Because God will never leave us nor forsake us. God will come through. Amen, amen. Well, St. John, I hope this message has been some motivation to get, get you all throughout your week. And you take something from this, this message I prepared this morning. And I pray each and every one of you have a blessed and happy Super Bowl Sunday this morning. In Jesus' name, amen. John, let's give the Lord a hand praise for the word. Let's give the Lord a hand praise for the messenger on today. Let us know that hard time, hard work, it will pay off. Hallelujah. Amen. I tell you, I don't know, but I got encouraged from that word on this morning. Amen. To let us know that even though we have to go through sometimes, it won't be that way always. How many of you know he said, if we delight ourselves in the Lord, what did he say the Lord will do? I can't hear y'all out there. What did he say the Lord will do? He will give us the desires of our heart. Oh, somebody ought to get happy up in this place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I want my young people to soak that message in this morning. If you work hard. Is going to pay off. Can I get a witness in the house? If you work hard, God will make a way out of no way. And we give the Lord praise on this morning. I just want to say to Brother Gaffney on this morning, continue to let the Lord, hallelujah, use you for his glory. Continue to let him 
allow you to pour in to the lives of not just young people only, but all those that God allow you to come in contact with. In the name of Jesus. Come on, let's give the Lord a hand praise. Hallelujah. If you are able to stand to your feet, why don't you stand? As the choir sing a song of their choosing. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We extend to you the invitation to come to the altar. For whatever the reason may be on this morning, amen. There is nothing too hard for the Lord, but God is able. And God can do anything except fail. Hallelujah. Should there be one that desire you to make St. John your home church, why don't you come and give the Lord your heart and give us the right hand of fellowship in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And depend on Jesus. He's my friend. Hallelujah. He's my God. Should there be one that desire prayer, why don't you come in the name of Jesus? Lean. And depend on Jesus. I found out if I trust him, he will provide. Hallelujah. And then paying on. Come on, young people. I like that. Come on. He's my friend. Oh, he's my friend. Oh, and he's my God. Oh, he's my God. Oh, I'm learning how to leave. And depend. And depend on Jesus. I found out. I found out. If I trust him. If I Trust he in him. Will. He will provide. Come on, put your hands together. Oh, I'm learning how, how to lead. lead. And depend. And depend on Jesus. He's my friend. He's my friend. Oh, and he's my God. He's my God. Oh, I'm, I'm learning, learning how, how to lead. lead. Can I get you just to cup your hand before the Lord as evangelist Myers take us to the throne of grace?
Amen. Believe that the Lord has done what you asked him to do. Oh, I'm learning how to live and depend. Trust him, he will. Oh, I'm learning and he been. He's my friend. Oh, and he's my guide. Oh, I'm learning and he been. Trust him, he will. Oh, I'm learning, lean and depend. Jesus, he's my friend. He's my friend. Oh, and he's my guide. He's my guide. Learning how to lean. If I trust him, if I found out, if I trust him, if I trust him, if I found out, if I trust him, if I found out, if I trust him, if I trust him, he will, he will provide. Oh, that we have a wonderful refreshment in the back for you later. Amen. But we're going to now bring in all of our new member into new membership. If you would come and gather at the altar, all of our new members are going to be coming into membership. Sister Ken Law is going to hand you a hymn book. If you would go down on the floor for me, Evangelist Myers, and turn to page 800. Page 800. In the hymnal, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord Jesus, if I get all of my class leaders, if you please come and stand behind these candidates, all class leaders, please come and stand behind these candidates. Continue to pray softly in the name of Jesus. Sister Anita Kinlaw, praise the Lord. And Brother Raymond brings to you, Brother Small. Lincoln, if you would please name each of these candidates. I got two of them. Mm -hmm. Dearly beloved, the scripture teaches us that the church is the household of God, the body of which Christ is the head. 
and that it is the design of the gospel to bring together in one all who are Christ's. The fellowship of the church is a communion that its members enjoy one with another. The aim of this fellowship, the maintenance of sound doctrine and the ordinances of the power, godly admonition and discipleship, which Christ has committed to his church is for the promotion of holiness. It is the duty of all people to unite in the fellowship, for it is only those the planning in the house of the Lord will flourish in the courts of our God. Its more peculiar duties are to promote peace and unity, to bear one another's burdens, to preserve each other's stumbling, to seek the intimacy of friendly society among themselves, to commit steadfast in faith and worship of the gospel, and to pray and sympathize with each other. Among the privileges are peculiar increments to the holiness from the sharing of God's word, sharing Christ's ordinances, placing persons under the watchful care of pastor, and the enjoyment of the blessing which are promised only to those who are of the household of faith. Into this holy fellowship, these persons before you who have already received the sacrament of baptism come seeking admission. We now propose in the fear of God to question these persons as to their faith and purposes, that you may know that they are proper persons to be admitted into the church. Dearly beloved, you are now seeking the great privilege of union with the church, which our Savior has purchased with his own blood. We rejoice in the grace of God given unto you in that he has called you to be his followers. You have heard how blessed are the privileges and how solemn are the duties of the membership in Christ's church. And before you are fully admitted, it is proper that you do hereby publicly renew your vow, confess your faith, and declare your purpose by answering the following questions. Do you hear in the presence of God and this congregation renew the solemn promise contained in the baptismal covenant, ratifying and confirming the same, and acknowledging yourself bound faithfully to observe and keep that covenant and all things contained therein? Have you saving faith in the Lord Jesus Christ? Do you possess, do you possess, possess friendly feelings to all, all members of the church? And I often immediately, not only members of the church, but all God allow you to come in contact with. Do you believe in the doctrine of the Holy Scripture as set forth in the article of religion and of the African Methodist Episcopal Church? Were you governed by the discipline of the African Methodist Episcopal Church? Hold sacred the ordinance of God and try as much as possible to promote the wealthy and of fellowship members and the advancement of the kingdom of God? You give your time, talent, and money for the support of the church, poor, and various ministries of the church? Congregation, will you stand? Members, will you turn around and face the congregation? Is there any reason why these persons should not be received into full membership? Amen. Now, let's go to our prayer and covenant. We cordially welcome you into the fellowship of the house of God. And in the light of our Christian love, I extend to you the right hand of fellowship. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 
Aleluia. Aleluia. And may God that you may be a faithful and useful member of the church militant until you are called to the fellowship of the church of triumph, which is faultless before the presence of God. Amen. That you would turn around and speak with him, but you could speak in love. Peace in the congregation. Amen. We want to say to you, our candidate, that we welcome you to the Greater St. John African Methodist Episcopal Church. Amen. To God be all the glory for the great thing he have done. I do have some class leaders that are not present. However, if you choose one of them for your class leader, I will make sure that they know. Sister Green, who do you desire to be your class leader? Sister Juanita Kenlaw. Sister Charlotte. Benny, who do you desire? Sister Juanita Kenlaw. Oh, she cleaning the house. Evangelist Gloria Mize, who do you desire to be your class leader? All righty, she cleaning the house. Sister Betty Ford, who you desire to be your class leader? Brother Joseph Smalls, go welcome your member. Sister Dodier, who you desire to be your class leader? Brother Henry Lincoln. Brother Dalen, who you desire to be your class leader? Brother Joseph Smalls, take your time. Hallelujah. If my ushers will come, amen, we're going to do our, our usual. Oh, the church is going to make you welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, the church is going to make you Oh, seek it in my poor soul. Oh, the church is going to make you welcome, welcome, welcome. 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 Oh, the church is going to make you welcome. Oh, seek it in my poor soul. Sing it all. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Church is gonna make you well come on, put your hand together. Oh, singing, oh, 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 glory, oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, oh, singing, oh, 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 singing, oh, oh, the church is gonna make you welcome, welcome. The church is going to make you welcome. Oh, seek it, my poor soul. Oh, singing, oh, glory. Hallelujah. Oh, singing, oh, glory. Seeking thy poor soul. The church is going to make you God be the glory for the great things that he has done. Um, I was given an envelope here to present to my cousin, Bubba, Daisy Boy. Well, we, we used to call the Va, we used to call the Va Daisy Boy, but I got to call this little Daisy, Daisy Boy. You know, the church school lesson talked this morning about uh, stirring up the gift. 
God certainly did that here on this afternoon. I didn't know that you were going to be the speaker on today. But I thank God for the word and allowing God to use you. Continue to let God use you. As your aunt will say, you know, you can roll something here that you can get a little happy meal with. So that's what you're next. Appreciate you, my brother. God bless you. And receive our offering, and we will move right along. Brother Henry Lincoln, if you would come, praise the Lord. Finance Committee, if you would come in the name of Jesus, and we're going to do this quickly. And you can go in the back and fellowship with some nice refreshment. And again, we can never say thank you enough for all of you coming. Amen. And shortly after the benediction, if you would get in the group of your team, that we can take a picture with you quickly. Amen. Yeah, we can get a picture with you quickly. We will appreciate it. To God be the glory. Amen. All right, if we can do this quickly, we can move right on out the way. Choir and the minstrels. Shall I wait down unto God on his blessing? What shall I render unto God? What shall I give? God has everything. Everything belongs to him. God has everything. Everything belongs to him. Oh, what shall I render unto God for all his blessings? Singing what? Shall I render unto God? What shall I give? Oh, God has everything. Everything belongs to Him. Oh, God has everything. Oh, everything belongs to Him. Singing what shall I render? Eternal God, our Father, Lord, we come down to say thank you for what you have given on today, what your people have given on today. Father God, I pray now that you will bless them 100-fold, that no good thing will be withheld from them. But, Father God, that you may continue to bless them coming in and going out, where their hand touches where they walk, the words that leave their mouth. Allow it to be blessed in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Again, we thank God all that have been and said on today. Praise the Lord. And please let us remember Howard University we've been asking for. Amen. A special offering as you are leaving. Praise the Lord that we may be a blessing to greater Howard. Not greater Howard. 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 AME Church. Praise the Lord. Yeah, Howard already put me in check. Howard. 
So as we exit to go into the fellowship hall, you get to see a nice big, beautiful fellowship hall. You may sit and eat or you may carry if you need to leave. But we would love for you to stay and fellowship along with us. But on your way, leave the fellowship hall through that door. Praise the Lord. Sister Kinlaw will be standing there. But I would like to get Brother Smalls to get a good picture of every team that is represented here today before you exit into the fellowship hall. So we're going to do this quickly so we can get into the enjoy one another. Again, Brother Gaffney, thank you so much for a man. The message, I call on Brother Irvin. Thank you so much for the scripture. He was happy to do so, and I call on my Cardell, and he was happy to come and do the prayer. Thank you all so very much. All of these are the former high school football players of Hanahan High School. And they did an awesome job while they were there. Amen. We thank God for all that have been done and said. So if all hearts are clear, we are going to stand and we're going to do our benediction. Then we're going to get in group with our team quickly. And Brother Smalls is going to get your picture. And then you can exit on into the fellowship hall and enjoy your refreshment. Amen. Everybody say, hey, Amen. Let everybody say, hey, Amen. Let everybody say, hey, Amen. Hey, Amen. Hey, hey, oh, let everybody say, hey, hey, Amen. Oh, let everybody say, hey. May the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet communion of His Holy Spirit, rest in the Bible that's all can for now and forevermore. Let the people of God, Amen, 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 Amen. Amen. Let everybody say, Let everybody say, Amen. Amen. Let's get a check of our pictures. Oh, yeah. Hey. Amen. Amen. Come on, let's take our pictures. Let's get our group before you leave. Get up.